a drill and that start oh pretty strongly on battlefield infants the buff and a drill the Falco. A matchup that Falco gonna need to shoot blasters, blasters, blasters a lot. That's kind of always going to flow cheek. The punish game will be really slopey compared to the other 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 matchup. Not really slopey, just really hard. Not gonna link too many of a sh out of a shine or anything. Dara's pretty good in that matchup because he forced Puff to be on the on the ground and can allow you allow you sorry to starting a textious situation. Also, in Fabilia won yesterday the teams, and Etrill and Kinkadi were the runner-up. Finished in the grand finals, f uh, only one set, but 3-2 for Infambilia, so that was close. So we'll see, but now it's back to back, huh? Nice, of course, of course. As soon as you got a throw, as soon as he got that up throw, if you can't DI that up throw, and finally this is the rest. But nice uh, reflex by Etchel, DIing down for to, to die as fast as he can to come back and get the kill. Okay, nice. 47%, pretty nice punish, let's be honest. The throw quite interesting at some point. More than the other throw, the other throw gonna be. Harder to link as you can see there. But then Dunst Throw can at least allow you to keep control on your opponent. And that's where he's stuck. Wow. So it should be pretty well around the platform, getting on the top platform, getting down when he saw the puff down. Up, I uh, missed something, he jumped right after. This is really hard. Even if uh, puff is the uh, queen of the air, she can just float around you and stuff. It took time for her to go really up, really high. So managing to keep that control of your uh, of your height with uh, Falco is one of the most important things in that matchup. You need to go up and down, up and down, up and down. It's really, really, really important. But we need to take it, take her time to win on the Falco. As you can see, try to some back to catch him at the at the. When he goes down to the platform, the back throw is quite interesting because if in uh, messed up his DI, I feel like can be punished or pretty closely. Ah, this is the in there. I know those kind of read. Ready for the roll. Unfortunately, not ready to get the punish this time. But we'll see soon. Oh, missed that up smash. That could be huge, or maybe not. Nice. Shooting the blaster, footing and jump. Oh, it was a jump. Oh, it was a still stick out to the ground. No, the blaster will have to reach him, or he will be stay in shield. With that jump, you can catch it with that back air. That was nice. This was kind of trap. Fourth thing, the puff to approach with that kind of tiny movement, and then punish him. Okay, undefeated, unfortunately. Now the landing was beautiful. Even if it was high, he fought him the record down from Etriel and catching him at the landing on the ground. So one stuck each. Uh oh. Mm, wanted to weather and make another throw. I know that. Misty stake. Up there. Nice second, second one. But still another up throw. This time he get that weather and up throw once again. But that's it. Nice guy by Etriel. Always moving. And fortunately, nothing afterwards could have been a tiny opportunity with that forward smash. And fortunately, that forward smash with by Inf and right after punished it and take the stock, take the game. I don't know if that's a murder aside or just the crew getting, uh, uh, just the smash for community getting hyped for the 3v3 crew. Insane. People are yelling so much. Yoshi story, classical classic, I would say. Short stage, counter and round, and also, also, quick stock. Which one of the most important thing in that matchup, I feel. Because, like, the most, most important thing for Falco when he wants to avoid a, um, 
a buff is not like it needs space to really like move around and stuff like not it does not need that much that much space just high jump and uh, and full way nice blaster to forward smash it doesn't need that many of space just move around getting on the top platform falling down as you can see there it does not need to be on dreamland and stuff but but keeping her pretty close and still be able to react to any of the movements are pretty cool, but mostly getting the kill early. So I'm one of those characters I feel they get really a ton of trouble by killing uh, by killing the buff. You need to find some precise people, some precise person. And the usual st strong Kubo game of Falco is not that strong against buff. A low percent, yes. A higher percent, a bit less. Nice up tilt, not a bad afterwards. As you can see, one. Oh, what? Okay, why not? So as you can see that up tilt, for, ex for instance, didn't link with an up or anything, but it was close to get the kill. Again, chill that to punish. Nice take on place, Shine. He wasn't ready for that. Now the top platform could be huge. That was beautiful. Drop on the flat platform, Shine to delay a bit, and gen then double jumping there to stick. Buff on that platform. That was beautiful. That was nice. That was nice. Let's be honest. Ooh, a double blaster was a bit too far, so that work. I'm gonna try to cover that side B and the edge guard right after. Two stock each. Petri is just staying on the center of the stage and is not moving from an inch. He knows how, how scary uh, Puff can be against uh, against uh, against Falco if he comes too close to him. Yeah, good, 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 good. Forcing him to jump. He was sticking on the ground and just when he took some in distance, he knows Puff uh, and will want to, to come up. So yeah, he needs to stay really far and also if he gets in an edge guard situation, he knows, he knows he gets like a tons a lot of chance of, of uh, just losing stock on strong edge guard of buff. So that's why just sticking on the ground. On the center. On the center. On the center. Beautiful back air. Tiny fade back. Walk a bit to be sure to avoid what will happen next. And mostly sure to be able to react of what will happen. He saw the grab. He forward smashed it. No more question. It's best of five? Is the wall bracket best of five? It's 1-1. One, one. It's 1-1. One, one. Sorry, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I forget the result. I forget it really won the first one. I think it was like one, 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 one. So back on battlefield. Wait, what? That's a good job. If was the first one, yes. Sorry, guys, I'm uh, a bit tired. <laughs> Didn't notice can. What happened to Counter Victory? I get lost in the set. Mm. Nice trap. Nice trap by Inf. Like, fading by coming and then fading back. The point the forest match putting his own. Once we get a back throw, as you can see, by the eye, that's a punish. Add the landing, pretty nice. That take in. Allows him to avoid that back here from Inf. <laughs> nice shield to really did at the exact moment where it will put that back here. He reacts well on those blaster, like as soon as he's seen blaster, just jump. I'm not forcing not jumping uh, to the Falco. Sometimes it's just in play, just in case the Falco wants to come in. Edge just a bit, taking his time before he wanted to go there, getting hit by the back here. On the ground with the dare, fourth throw. The trade, and it's over. Nice to forward to the trade, but as you can see, like 200%, a bit less for that stock. A lot of stock and a lot, a lot of person and a lot of blaster. I'm telling you. So unfortunately, it should stay a bit too much on the edge and get killed. And now that the Torres was 
beautifully, wonderful Lugiaid by Etriel. Hopefully in the way you get uh, up for rest at 0%, like at some point you can try to survive depending on the stage, on where you get uh, you get rest, where you can you get to send. So yeah, nice GI this time, not getting killed. You could have make it take down, you know, to kill, uh, to be dead, to die faster and come back faster against the against the buff. But there he knows, you know, the four nearly out of range. Oh, that forest smash, but even though the side B will catch that pop off guard, make it bounce, and find the back here afterwards. Okay, nice movement by Inf. That back on the side, the second one on that up B. Stuck H. Rolling a bit more, staying more on the ground. Switching his game plan, it seems. Looking more for a grab. Well, on that webland grab, the shine came. Up to the back at this time, nice, nice, nice. I think wanted to take a trap bit. I'm just getting an edgeguard situation, or an offstage situation, mostly. He's going to take a new path, a little bastard, and for you not recover that. Uh oh, uh oh, that's double blaster from the edge, unfortunately, a bit too high. And it just got in. Just get in because of that. Nice fall tilt, pushing the buff. And I should back in. Here we are, last match, last talk, all person each. Really close situation. This is a game of anyone, of anyone. Nice shot, but they're up to right after. Nice up jump to cover the landing, probably back here from him far, I don't know. Okay, running of uh, running, getting up tilted. Uh oh, and the rest of the neutral that could have been really dangerous. Uh, okay, nice. Oh, but not dead, not yet. And yes, it is. No more double jump. And Edge said Infernum into the loser bracket at the first round. First round. Solid. Let's be honest, that was solid.